Good afternoon, everybody. It's SuperJackster01 here now. I'm gonna. Uh, it's now time for a VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for August twentieth, two thousand fifteen. Now, all of these items I've gotten during the summer. I didn't get them on the same day. I've gotten through multiple times during the summer. Some of them I even got at the beginning of July, believe it or not. Uh, don't worry, I got a total of. Ten items. I got th two VHS tapes, three DVDs, and five Blu-rays. Uh, we're gonna do the VHSs first, which only out of all the items in here, there's only one item in this entire update that's actually a Disney one, believe it or not. But uh, I was gonna save this update for later till I got a ton of items, like I did last summer. Because last summer I got a real, I did a really big update. But however, I didn't get a lot of items this summer, so that's okay. But to, for the two VHSs, uh, for first, oh, sorry, but the camera was just a little shaky. Hey, the two VHSs, um, I got these a few days before my birthday for in the mail for my Nana Scary. First one I got, well, she, I actually got three VHS. One tape was a Disney VHS tape she got, but I'm not going to show it because unfortunately I already had another copy of it, so I'm not going to explain about that. But anyway, first we got the VHS of Babe. Abe, and it says. A little pig goes a long way. As you know, there is a film that's very similar to this film, that being the, the the Disney movie Gordy, which you know I do have Gordy on VHS. But this this um, film, Babe, is from Universal. Anyway, as you can see, here's the spine. In the back, it says, "The Citizen Kane of Talking Pig Pictures," is made by Dan Jire of the Chicago Daily Herald, and fresh original. Oh, and funny and absolute delight today by Leonard Malton of Entertainment Today. Yep. And this is a great film. Opens up. So we got the sticky note right here that says Campbell. And also, it also says this on the tape. I'm assuming Campbell must have been the name of the person who used to own this tape. But here's the tape. Sticker label. And no print date because this is a universal tape. But still, yeah, there you go with Babe. Okay, next up we got the VHS of Jumanji. E, and it has Ron Williams. Um, now, this is a great film. Film. It says an exciting, thrilling adventure that the whole family will love. Stay by Barry Kronchenink of Premier Radio Network. Yep. I, I definitely enjoy this film a lot. Anyways, you can see here's the spine. In the back, it says, An adventure ride for the entire family, edge of your seat, excitement is by Jim Ferguson of Preview Channel. Yep, and this is definitely a good one. It was a very creative idea. Open this up. Again, you also see the sticker named Campbell, so it looks like Campbell, like, you know, it looks like that, that, that person owned both the the babe tape and this one here's the tape it also says her name on the sticker here's the tape sticker label and no print date because this is a columbia tristar home video because this was this film was released by tristar pictures but still there we go with this video just jumanji but we're not done with jumanji because now we're going on to the dvds because these next three these first three dvds none of these are disney by the way I'm not technically disney these I got from my dad's girlfriend. It looks like she got them at, a, at her sister's yard sale. I got the DVD of Jumanji. And it says the same thing as on the VHS. So I'm glad I don't have this. Anyways, here's the spine. And back. And it's got the same critic review. The most features got digitally mastered audio and anim video animated menus. Isolated music score. It's also presented in uh, 5.1 Dolby Digital oh, Surround Sound. Also, it's got some special features and even a crew commentary and a, a making of and a bunch of other stuff. Let me open this up. See, we got the DVD guide and here's the disc, which has artwork. Still, there you go with Jumanji. Okay, next up is a film I have not seen. This is 
the special scouting edition of Down and Derby. This is the biggest race of your dad's life. I've never seen nor heard of this film, but it looks like this film stars Greg, Greg German, uh, Lauren Holly, and Pat Morita. I don't know. Oh, I'll have to give this film a watch. Maybe it'll be good. If anyone has seen, has seen this film, let me know in the comments there and tell me what you think. Here's the spine. In the back, and it says, The most enjoyable live-action family film since Holes, a state by Joe Williams of St. Louis movie... movie St. Louis Dispatch. Post-Dispatch. And, uh... Movie Guide calls... Four, f four stars, fun, clean, and exciting. Yeah, excuse me, sorry if I'm being tongue twister, but I do know that th this is a 2006 film. So, so answer it, but here's the disc, which you can see two uh, vehicles on there. Still, there you go with uh, Down and Derby. Alright, you know, the last DVD, this is technically, it's not really a Disney one, because this is sort of a Disney one, because this, this next one, the film that I'm going to show is actually a Touchstone film, but we know Touchstone was a company that was made by Disney, where they, if they ever made a film that had a PG-13 or R rating at the time, they'd uh, get, uh, you know, be released under this banner, or something that they didn't think Disney would like, so they put it under Touchstone, so the, the one that I got is... Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Now, this is a great classic from 1988. Hey. Yeah, and Steven Spielberg also worked on this film, and also it was a Robert Zemeckis who also directed the 2009 version of A Christmas Carol, The Polar Express, and uh, Forrest Gump. And he also has a new film coming out soon. Uh, I forgot what the name of it was, but I did see the trailer for it uh, this summer when I saw Jurassic World in theaters. Yeah, you know, when I saw Jurassic World in theaters. Anyway, here's the spine. In the back, it says, Brilliantly Funniest Day by the Chicago Tribune and and uh, Extraordinary Day by the Los Angeles Times. And this is a two-disc set, and it's got a bunch of bonus features. I, I can't say them all because there's just way too many to name. And yes, this is THX. It's on the back, though. It's not on the front. I have no idea what year this DVD is from. But I'm going to take it off, and it's got like almost like a detective book thing. <laughs> See, it's got all these things of... Yeah, it's nice. Here, let me get that. Yep, got this. Yeah, you can see right here, Roger. Roger, and right here, you can see Jessica. Okay. Here at the desk, they're basically like on film reels here's disc one which has the movie and here's disc two with the bonus features yeah it's got almost like on a film reel thing there we go but still there you go with who framed roger rabbit all right now onto the blu-rays now this this first one, this was the first item that's in this update I ever got. And this I got off of the Disney Movie Awards back at the beginning or of July, actually. And that you're all going to be happy I finally got. Yep. Pixar Short Films Collection Volume 2 on Blu-ray. It includes the students' films by John Lasseter, Andrew Stanton, and Pete Docter. Because we know John Lasseter, he directed Toy Story, A Bug's Life, Toy Story 2, Cars, and Cars 2. He's also going to direct Toy Story 4. And Andrew Stanton, you know, he directed um, uh, Finding Nemo, Wally, -E, and he's now also going to, he's currently directing uh, Finding Dory. And Pete Doctor, you know, he directed Monsters Inc., Up, and Inside Out. And yeah, but this is, this is a great film. Um, no, this is a great set. It includes a bunch of, you know, I do have volume one on dvd i have two copies of volume one on dvd so now i have volume two on blu-ray you're probably wondering you know i'd like to thank probably wondering i thought you needed a few i thought you needed a bunch of more points to get volume two well i'm happy i do follow like the disney movie rewards on twitter and also on uh facebook uh i'll put the links in the description to both of my profiles uh in in this update but 
and you know I followed them and like you know they would give out free codes to some people and I got a free code one day so I entered in and I was able to get enough points to get this so I'm glad I did anyway as you can see here's the spine it's got a nice green shiny slip cover which goes for perfect with volume one which had a red cover in the back and I'm pretty sure maybe if, when volume three comes out this is just my guess volume three might have a blue cover we'll see though but the back and this has the short films and this actually does include volume one did not include your friend the rap but it also but it did include but your friend the rat which was a bonus on the uh two, right, two dvds also on there it's also got the short film presto which was shown in theaters with wally uh bernie which was a uh a bonus short on the wally dvd and blu-ray partly cloudy which was shown with up doug's special mission a bonus one in Another spe uh, bonus short from Up that's included on here, that being George and AJ. A, but, you know, that that was never included on the DVD, D, though. Maybe it might have been included on the Blu-ray, I don't know. But it was also included on iTunes as well. Also got Day and Night, which was shown with uh, Toy Story 3. Hawaiian Vacation, which was shown with uh, Cars 2. Air Mater, which is a, a, sh uh, a, a Mater's Tall Tale short. Small Fry, which was shown with... Uh, the Muppets, Time Travel Mater, which was uh, a, another car show, and La Luna, which was shown with Brave. All these have audio commentaries, just like the first one. And for the student short films, John Lasseter's short films are Nina Mare and Lady and the Tramp. Andrew Stans are Somewhere in the Arctic and A Story. And Do Pete Doctors are Winter, Palm Strings, and Next Door. Yeah. i open this up. See, we got the Disney Movie Awards. I already entered the code in. Here's the Blu-ray disc, which has the the little guy from uh, the La Luna short, Buzz Lightyear, uh, Doug, and the Cloud from Partly Cloudy. And here's the DVD, which has the same characters, except there's a lot more artwork. Okay. Okay, never mind my dog barking. But yeah, it's nice and shiny, the slipcover is. A lot more shinier than the yes this, so i said i think volume three might have a blue cover whenever volume three comes out this this set came out uh five year this we know this volume two was released in 2012 uh so it was released five years after volume one because volume one came out in 2007 so i'm assuming since uh volume f uh three will probably come out in 2017 because of how, you know, it's been five years, uh, wait, five years, so, yeah, there you go, with, uh, volume two. Okay, and the next Blu-ray, hey, now we're on to the non-Disney Blu-rays, this first one, this I got at Walmart in North Island this, uh, just a few weeks ago, actually, believe it or not, and that is, you know, that'd be up here, I got, yep, the Lego Movie, you know, this is a great film, this is, my second favorite film from 2014 behind uh, Big Hero 6. And we know this was released in theaters in March of, uh, no, February of 2014. And I was originally, believe it or not, at the beginning of March, I was originally going to see us in theaters with my dad, at, but instead, but later on, we decided to see Frozen instead. I'm sure Eli Grande would be happy that instead of seeing this, I saw Frozen. But I was able to see this film on On Demand. I think it was On Demand. Yeah. But then I wanted to get a copy of the film, and I got. It. And I agree with that. Many critics said people. Many people said a movie about Legos should not have been this good. Good. Yes, this was a very great film. It was. It was nominated for an Academy Award for Best uh, Animated Feature, along with uh, How to Train Your Dragon Two and Big Hero Six were also nominated. And we know Big Hero Six won the award, which I was happy about. I haven't. I've only seen half of How to Train Your Dragon two though. Oh, but I'll see the rest soon. It it is available on Netflix. Here's the spine. And the back end says, "Awesome stay by Virgin Vigil of Reels Channel." Yes, and this film got a lot of great reviews. And this film was directed by Phil Lord and Christopher Miller, who directed Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, Twenty One, and Twenty Two Jump Street. I'm gonna take this up. And surprisingly, even though this is a Warner Brothers Blu-ray. The discs actually have artwork. Here's the Blu-ray disc, which has Wild Style. And here's the DVD, which has Emmett. Yep. 
I'm actually surprised that uh, Warner Brothers put artwork on this. Because we you know Warner Brothers usually doesn't do artwork on their disc anymore. But still, the Lego movie. If you have not seen the Lego movie, I can't recommend it enough, man. The ending. We got the ending. It's just too precious to spoil. Okay, and now on these next two Blu rays. This next one I got at the FYE store inside the South Kingstown Mall. Well, I'm going to be happy I now got The Hunger Games. That says the world will be watching. Yep. We know I do have The Hunger Games Mocking J Part 1 on Blu ray. I need Catching Fire. Because I didn't have Hunger Games or Catching Fire. Here's the spine. In the back it says The Worldwide Phenomenon. Yeah, and this is my favorite film from 2012. I believe it or not. So we got the digital copy thing. Here, unfortunately, the digital copy code is expired, but here are the disc. Here's Blu ray disc one, which has Katniss. And here's Blu ray disc two with PETA. Yeah, I'm sure you all guys are glad I finally now have The Hunger Games on Blu ray. So all I need to get is Catching Fire on Blu ray. And, oh, I did mention Catching Fire, and, okay, this next one I got the, the at the Target store inside the Warwick Mall, and, yep, I got the Hunger Games Catching Fire. Fire, and it says, every revolution begins with a spark. Yep, and this was the first Hunger Games film to be directed by Francis Lawrence, and he would continue to direct the uh, Hunger Games films in the series after that. Oh, by the way, the first Hunger Games film is the... Only Hunger Games film to be directed by Gary Ross. Mm -hmm. But anyway, yeah. That, but Catching Fire, this is great. So now I have all three Hunger Games films on Blu-ray. And we do know Mockingjay Part 2 is coming to theaters in on November 20th, which I definitely will be seeing opening weekend. And, and, and then when that comes to Blu-ray, I will get Mockingjay Part 2 the day it comes out on Blu-ray. And then I'll do a Hunger Games Blu-ray collection. Here's the spy. And the back, and it says, Spectacular in every sense of the word, as stated by Peter Travers of Rolling Stone, and Jennifer Lawrence is a force of nature, as stated by Anne Hornaday of the Washington Post. And for special features got a filmmaker's commentary, a nine part making of documentary, deleted scenes, and a sneak peek at Divergent, which would be coming to theaters in March of uh, 2014. Unfortunately, I didn't wasn't able to see Divergent in theaters. I was originally. Uh, at the time, I was originally going to see Diversion in theaters with my ex-girlfriend. This was when we were still together before we broke up later in March. But unfortunately, we weren't able to see it together. But oh well. Yeah, we got the digital copy thing. And this is actually a Blu-ray and DVD combo. This is the only Hunger Games Blu-ray and DVD combo I have. Here's blue, here's the Blu-ray disc with Katniss. And here's the DVD, which has the exact same character. Because it's basically the art... Which is the same, except, you know, it doesn't have the Blu-ray thing on it, so it says DVD. So, yeah. Okay. Still, The Hunger Games Catching Fire. Great film. Okay. And last, but not least, this last Blu-ray, this I got for my birthday. From my mother, and that's Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. And this, you know, you know, I do have... The first small cop on uh, DVD. And it says, A comedy for the whole family state of Kevin Thompson and Mr. Movie Phone. Unfortunately, this this film got many negative reviews. But the film was a box office success, though. Uh, but I saw this in theaters with my mom and two of my cousins at the Showcase Entertainment Cinema's movie theater in South Kingstown, Rhode Island, back on, back in, during April vaca my April vacation. And it was pretty good. It's just that, you know, it wasn't as good as the original film. I know my dad, I showed this to my dad, and he hated the film, because he didn't think it was really that funny. I mean, it sure had good jokes. I just think, I kind of more prefer the original. I, I think the original film, you know, I think the original Mall Cop, you know, was one of those films that, you know, that shouldn't have gotten a sequel, you know. It should have just been a standalone film, you know. We didn't need to know what happened after that. But this film is still, uh, I give it about, this film only has a 6% ring on Rotten Tomatoes, but... Well, so, um, I'd give it about a 6 out of 10. Here's the spine. In the back, it says, Paul Bart rides again, and it is even funnier. Stay by Dave Morales of Backstage 
hol.com slash austin Yep, and there's a bunch of Blu-ray exclusives. Yeah, but this film had a lot more jokes in it than the previous film. The previous film had a lot more action, a little bit more violence. So, but, uh, here's the kit. See, here's the Blu-ray disc, which has Paul. And we got the digital copy thing. And here's the uh, DVD, which unfortunately has no artwork, because we know this is a Sony Blu-ray. And yes, I know you can see me and uh, me recording here, but still, Paul Blart Mall Cop 2, great film indeed. Well, it's actually not a great film, it's a good film, I should say. It's just not as good as the original, though. All right, there we go. That's my VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for August 20th, 2015. I will see you all for my next video, which will actually be a, a little special movie. You'll see what it is. Let's see, here's the spine. In the back, it says, An adventure ride for the entire family, edge of your seat, excitement to by Jim Ferguson of Preview Channel. Yep, and this is definitely a good one. It was a very creative idea. Open this up. Again, you also see the sticker named Campbell, so it looks like Campbell, like, you know, it looks like that that, that person owned both the, the Babe tape and this one. Here's the tape. It also says her name on the sticker. Here's the tape. Sticker label. And no print date, because this is a Columbia TriStar home video, because this, this film was released by TriStar Pictures. But still, there you go with this video, Justin Jumanji. But we're not done with Jumanji because now we're going on to the DVDs. Because these next, th these first three DVDs, none of these are Disney, by the way. I'm not technically Disney. These I got from my dad's girlfriend. It looks like she got them at, a, at her sister's yard sale. I got the DVD of Jumanji, and it says the same thing as on the VHS. So I'm glad I don't have this. Anyway, here's the spine. And back and. It's got the same critic review. The most features you got digitally mastered audio and anim video animated menus, isolated music score. It's also presented in uh, 5.1 Dolby Digital oh, Surround Sound. Also, it's got some special features and even a crew commentary and a, a making of and a bunch of other stuff. Let me open this up. See, we got the DVD guide, and here's the disc, which has artwork. Still, there you go with Jumanji. Okay, next up is a film I have not seen. This is the special scouting edition of Down and Derby. This is the biggest race of your dad's life. I've never seen nor heard of this film, but it looks like this film stars Greg, Greg German... Uh, Lauren Holly and Pat Morita. I don't know. Oh, I'll have to give this film a watch. Maybe it'll be good. If anyone has seen, has seen this, then let me know in the comments there and tell me what you think. Here's the spine. In the back, and it says, The most enjoyable live-action family film since Holes of State by Joe Williams of St. Louis Movie... M movie... St. Louis Dispatch. Postage Patch. And, uh, Movie Guide calls Fort Rory and Do Pete Doctors are Winter, Palm Strings, and Next Door. Yeah. I'm gonna open this up. See, we got the Disney Movie Rewards. I already entered the code in. Here's the Blu ray disc, which has the, the little guy from uh, the La Luna short, Buzz. Lightyear, uh, Doug, and the Cloud from Partly Cloudy, and here's the DVD, which has the same characters, except there's a lot more artwork. Okay. Okay, never mind my dog barking. But yeah, it's nice and shiny, this slipcover is. It's a lot more shinier than the... Yes, this... So I said, I think Volume 3 might have a blue cover. Whenever Volume 3 comes out, this... This set came out uh, five years. This we know this volume two was released in 2012. Uh, 
So it was released five years after Volume 1, because Volume 1 came out in 2007. So I'm assuming since uh, Volume f uh, 3 will probably come out in 2017, because of how... You know, it's been five years, uh, wait, five years, so, yeah, there you go, with, uh, volume two. Okay, and the next Blu-ray, hey, now we're on to the non-Disney Blu-rays, this first one, this I got at Walmart in North and Strand, this, uh, just a few weeks ago, actually, believe it or not, and that is, you know, be happy I got, yep, the Lego Movie, you know, this is a great film, this is my second favorite film from 2014 behind, uh, Big Hero 6, and, we know this was released in theaters in March of, uh, no, February of 2014. And I was originally, believe it or not, at the beginning of March, I was originally going to see us in theaters with my dad, at, but instead, but later on, we decided to see Frozen instead. I'm sure E.I. Grande would be happy that instead of seeing this, I saw Frozen, but I was able to see this film on On Demand. I think it was on, yeah. But then I wanted to get a copy of the film, and I got, and I agree with that many critics that, People, many people said a movie about Legos should not have been this good. Good. Yes, this was a very great film. It was it was nominated for an Academy Award for Best uh, Animated Feature, along with uh, How to Train Your Dragon 2 and Big Hero 6 were also nominated. And we know Big Hero 6 won the award, which I was happy about. I haven't, I've only seen half of How to Train Your Dragon 2, though. Oh, but I'll see the rest soon enough. It, it is available on Netflix. Here's the spine. And the back end says, Awesome to stay by Virgin Vigil of Reels Channel. Yes, and this film got a lot of great reviews. And this film was directed by Phil Lord and Chris. Four stars, fun, clean, and exciting. Yeah, excuse me. Sorry if I'm getting a tongue twister. But I do know that this is a 2006 film. What's up? No, answer it, but here's the disc, which you can see two uh, vehicles on there. Still, there you go with uh, Down and Derby. All right, you know, the last DVD. This is technically, it's not really a Disney one, because this is sort of a Disney one, because this, this next one, the film that I'm going to show is actually a Touchstone film, but we know Touchstone was a company that was made by Disney, where they if they ever made a film that had a PG-13 or R rating at the time, they'd uh, get, uh, you know, be released under this banner or something that they didn't think Disney would like, so they put it under Touchstone, so the, the one that I got is Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Now, this is a great classic from 1988. Right? Yeah, and Steven Spielberg also worked on this film, and also was a Robert Zemeckis who also directed the 2009 version of A Christmas Carol, The Polar Express, and uh, Forrest Gump. And he also has a new film coming out soon. Uh, I forgot what the name of it was, but I did see the trailer for it uh, this summer when I saw Jurassic World in theaters. Yeah, when I saw Jurassic World in theaters. And anyway, here's the spine. And the back, it says, Brilliantly Funniest Day by the Chicago Tribune, and... And uh, Extraordinary Stay by the Los Angeles Times. And this is a two-disc set, and it's got a bunch of bonus features. I, I can't say them all because there's just way too many to name. And yes, this is THX. It's on the back, though. It's not on the front. I have no idea what year this DVD is from. But I'm going to take it off, and it's got like almost like a detective book thing. <laughs> See, it's got all these things of... Yeah, it's nice. Here, let me get that. Yep, got this. Yeah, you can see right here, Roger. Roger, and right here, you can see Jessica. Okay. You got the disc. They're basically like on film reels. Here's disc one, which has the movie. And here's disc two with the bonus features. Yeah, it's got almost like on a film reel thing. There we go. But still, there you go with Who Framed Roger Rabbit. All right, now onto the Blu-rays. Now this this first one, this was the first item that's in this update I ever got. And this I got 
Good afternoon, everybody. It's Superjackster01 here now. I'm gonna, uh, it's now time for a VHS, DVD, and Blu ray update for August 20th, 2015. Now, all of these items I've gotten during the summer, I didn't get them on the same day, I've gotten through multiple times during the summer. Some of them I even got at the beginning of July, believe it or not. Uh, don't worry, I got a total of. Ten items. I got th two VHS tapes, three DVDs, and five Blu-rays. Uh, we're gonna do the VHSs first, which only out of all the items in here, there's only one item in this entire update that's actually a Disney one, believe it or not. But uh, I was gonna save this update for later till I got a ton of items, like I did last summer, because last summer I got a real, I did a really big update. But however, I didn't get a lot of items this summer, so that's okay. But to, for the two VHSs uh, for first, oh, sorry, but the camera was just a little shaky. The, the two VHSs, um, I got these a few days before my birthday for in the mail for my Nana Scary. First one I got, well, she, I actually got three VHS. One tape was a Disney VHS tape she got, but I'm not going to show it because unfortunately I already had another copy of it, so I'm not going to explain about that. But anyway, first we got the VHS of Babe. Abe, and it says. A little pig goes a long way. As you know, there is a film that's very similar to this film, that being the, the the Disney movie Gordy, which you know I do have Gordy on VHS. But this this um, film, Babe, is from Universal. Anyway, as you can see, here's the spine. In the back, it says the Citizen Kane of Talking Pig Pictures, is made by Dan Jire of the Chicago Daily Herald, and fresh original. Oh, and funny and absolute delight today by Leonard Malton of Entertainment Today. Yep. And this is a great film. So we got the sticky note right here that says Campbell. And also, it also says this on the tape. I'm assuming Campbell must have been the name of the person who used to own this tape. But here's the tape. Sticker label. And no print date because this is a universal tape. But still, yeah, there you go with Babe. Okay, next up we got the VHS of Jumanji. E, and it has Robin Williams. Um, now, this is a great film. Film. It says, an exciting, thrilling adventure that the whole family will love. Stay by Barry Kronchenek of Premier Radio Network. Yep. I, I definitely enjoy this film a lot. Anyways, we got off the Disney Movie Rewards back at the beginning or of July, actually. And that you're all going to be happy I finally got. Yep. Pixar Short Films Collection Volume 2 on Blu-ray. It includes the students' films by John Lasseter, Andrew Stanton, Pete Docter, because we know John Lasseter, he directed Toy Story, A Bug's Life, Toy Story 2, Cars, and Cars 2. He's also going to direct Toy Story 4. And Andrew Stanton, you know, he directed... Um, uh, Finding Nemo, Wally, -E, and he's now also going. He's currently directing uh, Finding Dory. And Pete Doctor, we know he directed Monsters Inc., Up, and Inside Out. And yeah, but this is this is a great film. Um, no, this is a great set. It includes a bunch of, you know, I do have a Volume One on DVD. I have two copies of Volume One on DVD, so now I have Volume Two on Blu-ray. You're probably wondering, you know, I'd like to thank. Probably wondering. I thought you needed a few. I thought you needed a bunch of more points to get Volume Two. Well, I'm happy. I do follow like the Disney Movie Rewards on Twitter and also on uh, Facebook. Uh, I'll put the links in the description to both of my profiles uh, in in this update. But and you know I followed them and like you know they would give out free codes to some people and I got a free code one day so I entered in and I was able to get enough points to get this. So I'm glad I did. Anyway. As you can see, here's the spine. It's got a nice green, shiny slip cover, which goes for, perfect with Volume 1, which had a red cover. In the back, and I'm pretty sure maybe if, when Volume 3 comes out, this is just my guess, Volume 3 might have a blue cover. We'll see, though. But the back, and this has the short films. And this actually does include, Volume 1 did not include Your Friend the Rap, but it also, but it did include, but Your Friend the Rap, which was a bonus on the uh, Ratatouille DVD is also on there. It's also got the short film Presto, which was shown in theaters with Wally. Uh, Bernie, which was a uh, a bonus short on the Wally DVD and Blu-ray. Partly Cloudy, which was shown with Up. 
Doug's special mission, a bonus one in. Another spe uh, bonus short from Up that's included on here, that being George and AJ. A, but, you know, that, that was never included on the DVD, D, though. Maybe it might have been included on the Blu-ray, I don't know, but it was also included on iTunes as well. Also got Day and Night, which was shown with uh, Toy Story 3. Hawaiian Vacation, which was shown with uh, Cars 2. Air Mater, which is a, a, sh uh, a, a Mater's Tall Tale short. Small Fry, which was shown with uh, The Muppets. Time Travel Mater, which was uh, a, another car show, and La Luna, which was shown with Brave. All these have audio commentaries, just like the first one. And for the student short films, John Lasseter's short films are Nina, Nina Mare and Lady in the Tramp. Andrew Stans are Somewhere in the Arctic and A Storm.